Hey, what's up guys, Crunchy Cook here and welcome on back to a brand new tutorial and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a kill slash death detection system and so uh, let's get right into it guys. So first things first guys, I'm actually going to show you guys the system. So the system's quite easy. This is like the entire thing that you need, these three actual rows and if I go into survival and I then walk on these pressure plates I'll, I'll explain these later but basically this is me entering the pvp zone and then this is me exiting the pvp zone so if i press this pressure plate and kill myself i will gain a death and that is what i will that's what will happen but if i kill myself while i'm outside the pvp zone i will not receive a death so it's you're not getting penalized and uh i actually can't show you the detection for kills but it does work i'll tell you that it does work so that's good and uh, i have set up a system so that the the item that drops when you die which is the hydrogen block you can choose whatever you want guys uh if you want the hydrogen block you ha have to activate uh education mode it's quite simple simple to do that it's just in your settings your options and uh yeah so to simply put it guys the way this system works is it detects if you no longer have this item in your inventory and it will add a death to the counter down below and if you are not in the pvp zone you will not get penalized but if you are you will get a death and um that's just for spawn protection because sometimes people will kill you i don't know whatever happens happens uh, and the way the kills work is that it's an item on the ground and the closest player to the item will receive the kill i know it's not the per most perfect thing ever Maybe there's a better method out there and uh, someone's not, someone else has done it. But this is my method and, uh, you know, I, I'm open to feedback. So you can comment down below if you know a better method that uses command blocks. No add-ons. Because I know add-ons is well better. If you can use add-ons, use add-ons. But, uh, yeah, I guess we can get right into the command blocks, guys. So, first things first, you are going to want to have to create some scoreboard objectives. Yes. You will need to create a kills dummy objective, and then you also need to do the same for deaths. So you're going to want to add deaths dummy, and that's basically all you need to do for those for the scoreboards. And you can set it up in here slash scoreboard players add a death zero, and you can do the same for kills. Boom. And I also have a little display here. Uh, you, this is what it looks like. You can pause the screen, copy this down if you want. This is just for me to showcase the kills and death on the bottom of my screen so you guys can see it. Uh, I think we should get into the deaths because it's the least amount of commands while the kills is a lot. It's a lot of copy and pasting, but still. So for the death one, it's repeating, always active, unconditional. And it's slash execute as at a tag equals pvp. This is detecting if you have the tag pvp. So if I go into this command block, as you can see, it's tagging the player with pvp, and this one is removing it. And these are just kill commands, they're not that important. And so it's detecting if you have the tag pvp. Um, and unless the entity or unless the player has the element underscore one, which is your um. It's your hydrogen block in the location slot dot inventory slot equals zero which is the corner you can choose where you want to put it but i put it in the slot zero and then it's going to run slash scoreboard players add as deaths one so that's going to add to the scoreboard uh your little in your little number down below for deaths and then this one is going to replace the item in your inventory you can make a little sound effect or a message that pops up if you do receive a death. Uh, but uh, you don't have to do that. You, you don't, it's not necessary. Uh, but it's only if you want to do that. Um, this is the final command in your chain if you ever are adding more. So like you, you have to put this at the very end of your command. I'm horrible at explaining things. <laughs> and so this is just the same thing. It's testing for. Um, this will give the player the hydrogen block no matter what. Even if they don't have the tag or have the tag PvP. It will always give the player this, the hydrogen item. And so that's that command. And we can now get on to the kills. Yes. And this is quite 
simple guys this is just going to do uh slash execute as ap as if entity at e name equals hydrogen radius equals eight run tell raw at s raw text uh, i didn't add any color to that you can pause the screen by the way and it's a repeating always active unconditional command the next is going to be a chain unconditional always active and it's the same kind of formula and then you do slash play sound random dot orb at s then it's this one execute as at p at s if entity addy yep and then scoreboard players add at s kills one this is adding to your scoreboard um then you also have this here so it's scoreboard players add at s kills one did i just look into the same command i did <laughs> um and now we have slash scoreboard players add at s cash equals 100 or cash 100 if you want to add cash to your thing you can this is just for me the next one is going to kill the item on the ground that oh, sorry clicked it clicked out of that way too quickly uh so it's slash kill at e name equals hydrogen radius equals eight count equals one and you're gonna do slash scoreboard players add at s despawn one and also this is only for the item this is for basically if nobody is near the hydrogen block item for like its first two seconds of its lifespan uh the, uh, the item will despawn so that is what this is for and you also have to create a new scoreboard by, by the way guys sorry about that you want to create a new scoreboard so scoreboard objectives add oh add and then despawn dummy so you just want to add that scoreboard and then finally you can do this so slash execute as ie type equals item name hydrogen scores equals despawn so if the item is alive for one second or more it will kill itself and that is good i think i can test this guys for you uh here if i grab myself a hydrogen block and i were to drop it i get a kill and money so that is a great way to test if your kill system works by just having the item and dropping it i know that's not great for actually uh because like cheaters could go in creative mode and grab the item and just drop it a million times and get infinite money you can change that by using data for your items and you don't have to use hydrogen or anything like you could use a book with the data of 100 that way people can't just grab a book out of the creative inventory or anything they have to actually use commands to grab the item uh both of that guys that is the entire tutorial you guys uh voted for this by the way it's uh, i'm gonna be doing more of those little like votes little polls to ask you guys what kind of tutorials you want to see next uh, and i'll give you like four options between all of them and i think it's a fun little thing but anyways guys if you did enjoy the video a like would be appreciated and subscribing would mean the world to me and uh yeah guys i'll see you in the next video see you. I can take you high, high.